Hello everyone! Welcome to this video. Sa lahat ng mga bago, ako nga pala si Engineer J. Isa po akong civil engineer at isa din po akong university professor. Nagtuturo po ako ng mga engineering subjects sa mga engineering student, especially sa mga civil engineering students. And gumagawa din po ako ng mga YouTube tutorial videos regarding sa mga engineering subjects like um, strength of materials, mechanics of materials, calculus, or mathematics. You can just visit my channel and feel free to share my videos sa inyong mga classmates, sa inyong mga kaibigan, sa inyong mga students, especially sa mga nag-review na ngayon. I believe that all the videos na ginawa ko are very helpful, especially nowadays na nasa online learning pa rin tayo. Now, I know that you're already aware kung anong pag-uusapan natin in this video kasi nasa title ko naman. But to give you an overview, I am going to share to you guys what are the strategies, mga techniques na ginawa ko and how I was able to pass all the board examinations na na-take ko. Now, to give you a heads up, I have three experiences na of taking the board exam. So, I guess I have this credibility na on sharing to you guys what are the things that I've done, what are the strategies that I adopted in order to be successful no, in taking the board exam. So, I hope guys that you will find this video very helpful. But please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. And please keep watching until the very end of this video. As what I have mentioned kanina guys, I have these three experiences of taking the board examination. Ang una kong experience was the Civil Engineering Board Exam, which I took that exam December of 2014 and luckily, I passed the board exam. Then after that, I planned to take the DPWH Materials Engineer Accreditation Exam, which fortunately I passed again. And then the last board exam that I took was the Master Plumber Board Examination. That was um, February of 2018, if I remember it correctly. And luckily, and in God's grace, I passed the board examination. So those are the three board exams that I have experienced taking. Now, I could say then, guys, with all these experiences, I could say that preparing for the board exam is the most difficult experience I had. It's the most challenging part on taking the board examination because it takes time. You need to sacrifice every time that you have. Now, instead of taking time, spending your time together with your family, with your loved ones, you spend it to study or to review instead. So, yun yung mga challenges na kailangan mong pagdaanan while you are preparing for the board examination. As what I have remembered, no, when I was taking the board exam or when I was preparing my board exam in Cebu, now, just so you know guys, I'm from Davao, so I have to fly all the way from Davao to Cebu and stayed there for 5 or 6 months to prepare for the board examination. So, medyo mahirap siya because you need to live independently, you need to live alone, you need to live away from your family, no, just for preparing for the board examination. You do not have their physical support, but luckily I have the support of my classmates and my friends together with me in Cebu. So somehow it helps me in coping up with these challenges, these stresses and depression that I had experienced back then. So that is the reason why guys that you need to be physically, emotionally and mentally ready before taking the board examination. And that is one of the tip na always kong binibigay sa aking mga student. I always um, tell my student na um, during the review days, you have only 5 or 6 months to prepare for the board examination and given that short period, you need to consolidate all the topics. Imagine in that period of time, there are a lot of topics na kailangan mo i-cover. So it is a challenge for you. So that's the reason why guys, yung mga review center natin, yung mga lecturers sa review center, they have this fast pacing in terms of lecture. So, medyo pabilisan yung ating lecture. As early as your college days, you need to be familiarized. You need to understand na the concept, the theories of the topic. Because in the review days, you will not have this time to go back to the theories and principle. So, you will have to review na lang. You will have to um, refresh all the topics. If you are on your college pa, or if you are currently taking 
your engineering courses, you have to make sure na napag-aralan mo na ng maigi yung mga topic para hindi ka na mahirapan pag nasa review center ka na. And then my second advice is always be time conscious. I know guys, medyo cliche na siya kasi that is always one of the advice na binibigay sa atin, di ba? We always have to manage our time, be organized, but Again, we have to recognize the fact na medyo mahirap talagang mag-organize ng time. But one of the strategy that I adopted when I was reviewing is that I always set a specific schedule for a particular topic. Like for example, if I have this topic 1 set on week 1, topic 2 on week 2, topic 3 on week 3. So by having this specific schedule for that specific topic, I can ensure myself na makakover ko lahat ng topic within the 5 or 6 months of reviewing. And also, I can assure myself na wala akong mamimiss na mga important na mga topic. So, how are you going to ensure that you are always on track to your um, desired schedule? What I did is, I always match my um, review schedule, my self-study schedule to the um, topic on the review center. Like for example, if the our lecturer discussed this specific topic like definite integral, let's say. So when I go home, I put only my focus on studying about definite integral. No more, no less. Hindi ako nag advance study, nor hindi rin ako late. So by doing that, I always keep on track. Wala akong mamimiss na mga important na mga lessons. However guys, you should not only be limited with the review materials na binibigay sa iyo ng review center. You always look for other resources. You try to solve a lot of problems as much as possible. At least siguro 50 problems a day, enough na yun, in order to cover all the different situations on that specific topic. Because we do not know kung anong specific situation ang lalabas sa board exam. So to be safe, you cover all situations on that particular problem. So by that, you are deemed prepared no, on your board examination. And one of the strategy that I want to share to you guys now, when I was reviewing, I don't usually take down notes. Hindi ako nagsusulat. What I did is that I take a picture of the solution on the board or I write the question and just the answer. And then when I go home, I took time to resolve the question or resolve the problem. That's how I assess myself whether I have understand the lecture or hindi. So that's one of the strategies na ina-apply ko. Our brain guys cannot take two things at the same time. You cannot write down notes at the same time listening to the lecture. So in order for me to fully understand the lecture, I give my 100% focus on listening. I give my 100 focus on understanding the topic. And that's how I do review when I was in Cebu preparing for my board examination. And guys, we know that when you are an engineering student or a mathematics student, there are a lot of formula that you need to memorize or that you need to familiarize. And it is a big challenge for us on how to memorize and familiarize this formula from the first day up to the final day of our review. So yun yung major challenges for us. And there are a lot of strategies na ina-adapt na ng mga reviewers. And that is by writing the formula in the Manila paper and then i-dedicate it sa wall. But during my time, what I did is I always took time to write all the formula in paper every day. So sinusulat ko lahat ng formula from the first formula that I encountered up to the latest one every first day in the morning. So I always take at least 30 minutes or one hour to write down all the formula. And by doing this strategy, I was able to memorize all the formula easily. No, hindi siya mawawala agad sa akin kahit I missed a single day na hindi ako nakakapag-memorize. You can also apply that no, if you are preparing for any examination. You can just basically write down all the formula in just a piece of paper or an index card. So you do it every day. And then my next advice is, of course, always have a rest day. So during my time, I always set Sunday as my rest day. I always take time to go to church, 
to go mauling or eat with friends or classmates. So by doing that, it could help me relax my time, um, cope up with stresses, cope up with homesickness. Kasi yun yung major challenge ko. Kasi um, I always miss my parents. And also, I always take time to call my family here in Davao. And that's how I manage stresses back then. And also guys, you need to set a schedule or a time every day for your relaxation or for rest like every day i usually have this um, 15 to 20 minutes time to watch video to play games or to talk with my housemates so by doing this i could refresh my mind my schedule that i follow during my review day is that every first day in the morning i write down the formula and then eat um, breakfast and I go to my review center and then eat lunch and then go home then when I go home hindi muna ako nag uh, to solve ng problem what I did is I always take a nap every time that I go home from review center so I take a nap at least one hour every day and then after that I then proceed to studying I make sure that I solve 50 problems a day or 100 problems a day if possible and then after four hours, I took time to rest. I do stretching, I do exercises, I talk with my housemate, and then I then after that I proceed na naman to studying. So that was the routine that I followed every day you know, when I was preparing for the board exam. So medyo boring siya, but I told you guys that having this specific schedule every day helps you in dealing with your um, studying or in dealing with stresses and coping up as well with the fast um, pacing for review. The next advice of course, maintain a healthy lifestyle. You need to have a sleep at least 8 hours a day and eat healthy food. I guess that's one of the major problem if you are um, living alone. No, You don't have time to cook, you do not have time to eat vegetable because Ang makakain mo lang is kung ano yung available na binili mo or ano lang yung available sa kalenderya. I remember always lang akong nag-i-instant food. So that's one of my um, biggest weakness as I was reviewing. Make sure guys, it is always important that you maintain healthy lifestyle. And then lastly of course, you need to seek guidance from God. That's the most important one, di ba? Even though that you are doing your best, yet you are missing this guidance from God, you will not be able to pass the board exam. You always ask help from God no, to whatever you do. And that ends my advice guys. Even a short lang yung mga advices ko. I hope that you have found something very important that would help you in preparing for your um, upcoming board examination or to whatever test that you are preparing. And guys, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and pakihit na rin po ang notification bell so that I will be inspired not to make a lot of videos like this one. Thank you guys for um, listening. Please share this video to everyone, to your friends who will be taking their board examination or who are preparing for their examination. Thank you guys. Keep safe and God bless.